Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I want to combine a notion from essentialism along with uh, an idea that Seth Godin presents in his latest book, The Practice, Shipping Creative Work. Now, before I fully get into it, though, I would like to take the opportunity to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. That way you get all the various lessons and episodes that I put out right when I put them out. Thank you if you just did, and thank you if you already were. It means a lot to me. So let's get into this, okay? The, the, the big idea of essentialism is to focus on the things that really matter and eliminate the rest, right? As the name implies, what is essential? And, you know, in that sense, uh, thinking and, 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 and constantly having to make decisions is not really like all that essential, right? And here's what I mean by it. Uh, Seth Godin, as he, he frames it, talks about make a macro decision. Meaning, you know, a, a lot of us, and myself included, uh, you know, before I like, I really adopted this thinking and, you know, admittedly st still even now, every now and then, we fight with ourselves of like, okay, do I want to work out today? Do I want to work on my book? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? And, and it's, you know, it's a constant battle. And I've talked about this before of like, you know, think, think about like life in general is that, uh, you know, we're kind of in a constant state of homeostasis and homeostasis by its very definition is supposed to be balance. But in order to get to that balance, uh, your body is constantly at work. And so in order for us to constantly like kind of maintain um, the level that we want to be at uh, requires work. And so you essentially have to kind of keep slaying the dragon. It's not like you reach this like magical level in a video game and you reach a save point and you don't have to do X, Y, and Z. Like every day we have to do those things. Well, that can sound very grim or... Uh, I don't know if defeatist is the right word, but you know, it's like, okay, that's, that's kind of, seems like an uphill battle to climb to say the least, you know, when you have daily obstacles like this. But what essentialism and Seth Godin argue is one and the same essentially, and that's by making a macro decision, you eliminate all the tiny decisions. So rather than fight with yourself every single day of like, do I wanna go for a jog or do I not? Just commit to, I'm gonna be a runner. Because when you commit to, let's, you know, I want to be a runner, then it's not a question of, do I, sh sh do I want to run today or not? It's like, you already made that commitment, now you stick to it, okay? Uh, Seth Godin made the, made the proclamation of like, I'm going to be a blogger. No matter what, every day, I'm going to post a blog. And that's what he's done for, at this point, decades. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, it's definitely been a decade at least, um, but might be coming up close to two, if not already. And... That's, that's, that's a powerful thing, right? Uh, so for him, it's, it's not a, like, he doesn't have to have that battle with himself. And I know it's very nuanced. It's like, okay, well, how do you just make that decision? And then all of a sudden, you know, on a daily basis, it's like, oh, well, of course, now you're just being kind of robotic about it. And it's like, no, you, 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 you know, the idea is really define in your life what matters to you and then stick to it. That's, that's really kind of what it comes down to. And so, you know, part of it is having that introspective version where you really sit down with, you know, what has meaning towards me. And when, when that, when you really come to that answer, then, then yeah, you've got to kind of stick to it because that's what brings you joy. And if, and if you, and kind of part of it is like, even if you don't um, stick to it, then may, maybe it's because you didn't love it enough. But even then, you know, the, the idea that, that like we're always going to be love doing, you know, the thing that, that we say is our true love in life, it's never going to be that way. There, there, there's monotonous aspects to any sort of profession, anything that we do. And there's going to be times when we're like, oh, I don't want to do this. But again, the idea by, by, do, by kind of committing, making a macro decision now, instead of having to make micro decisions every single day about this, this one subject then your mind does get trained in this way where it doesn't have to any longer make those decisions. It's, it's more about, okay, now, how, how, you know, today I'm a little bit tired, but you know what? Okay, how, how do we get through it? You know, I, I, I've committed to writing a blog and, you know, 
today I'm not really feeling for it, but you know what, I gotta do it, so what can I come up with? Um, you know, today I'm gonna be a YouTuber, and, and listen, I'll be honest, you know, sometimes for me, uh, you know, I, I've made a commitment to essentially continue to put out uh, an episode a day, uh, you know, through my podcast and, and, and whatnot, and you know, yes, I, I do take breaks and things like that, but um, that's because, you know, it might be for other reasons, you know, work reasons or so forth, family reasons. But generally, you know, I like, you know, and, and then by the way, that's part of the promise that I made to myself is like, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to commit to it. But if, if, you know, it can't be at the cost of my, my you know, family stuff and it can't be at the cost of uh, my work, you know, because that's what pays the bills. And if I can't pay my bills, then I'm certainly not going to be able to do this. So, you know, that, that's the commitment I made to myself. And, you know, I stick to it. And so there are admittedly times when it's like, oh, what am I going to talk about and things like that? And it's like, you know what, I've made the decision and it's, it's in a way it does become, it, it does kind of help create a snowball effect because it's like, all right, well, it's time to roll up my sleeves. And, you know, I don't know if this is going to be the best lesson uh, I, I've ever put out, but let me put it out. And, um, you know, that's going to be for others to decide. And, you know, I'm going to, uh, as, as Don Miguel Ruiz says, you know, always do your best. Now, your best is not always going to be consistently like the, the highest of levels. But, you know, if you're having kind of a down moment and you just do your best, then it's like, okay, it is what it is. And even Seth, Seth Godin, you know, he'll be the first one to point out. Yeah, he has uh, he has breakthrough uh, writing as well, but most of it's average. And as he likes to joke, like, well, that no duh, any mathematician will say that's that's the law. Like that is literally what average is, right? That's the meaning of it. And so most of his work will be average. Um, but in in that respect, he he can get to the good writing because he's constantly uh, creating work. And rather than fighting with himself of do I want to blog today, do I not? He's eliminated that decision, and he's 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 committed, and now he's doing it. And so that's what I want you to do as well. You know, really stop thinking about these micro decisions on a daily basis because too much brain power goes into it. Instead, make a macro decision and then allow your brain, your brain wants to solve things kind of naturally. And so if, if you start thinking about, okay, you know, um, I'm having an issue in terms of the story that I'm writing or, uh, you know, I want to create a, you know, how do I do this thing in Photoshop or whatever it may be, you know, or like you're stuck writing a poem, some sort of song, whatever it is. If you allow your mind the space, it will focus on those problems versus the micro decisions of like, do I want to do, do this? Do I not? And it's really a beautiful thing. Like it, it, it almost shouldn't work, but it actually does. Um, but you got to kind of put yourself in that mindset by like committing and making that macro decision and eliminating the micro decisions. So that's, that's my advice to you. I hope you take it to heart. If you have any questions or thoughts of your own, please do share, write them down below or hit me up on social media at Phil Svitek. I would love to converse with you. Uh, and to that same token, if you think this would benefit someone in your life, by all means, please share it with them. I certainly would appreciate it. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time.